Artie the Art Robot with your Artrageous Art Lesson. Today, we're going to be learning about the artist Keith Haring, who's the Artist of the Month for May. We've already studied action figures, which are the two-dimensional figures that Keith Haring used to paint and make on the sides of the subways in New York City. Today, we're going to be making a three-dimensional action figure. So instead of a drawing, we're going to be making a sculpture. And what you need to make your action figure is something you usually have around in your kitchen called aluminum foil. Now, aluminum foil is kind of like a metal, um, and it's great. It's a great medium for use making sculptures. So what you're going to need to make this aluminum foil action figure is a large sheet of aluminum foil and really just your hands or a Sharpie. I like to pull off a long straight piece of aluminum foil and then I like to draw some lines to show where the head, arms, and legs are going to be. Once you draw those lines, then you need scissors to cut on the lines so that you can begin rolling up slowly the head and the arms and the legs. Now, if something breaks off or if you squeeze it too hard, you can always take aluminum foil and squish it back together. It's almost like clay, but, you know, even easier to use. So, once you've made your aluminum foil action figure, then you need to think about what action you want to be showing. Your action figures can be reading, drawing, doing gymnastics, anything you want. And then the cool thing about these is, using the iPad, you can also make a movie and use stop motion animation to make it look like your action figure is really moving. So, good luck making your aluminum foil action figures. These are three-dimensional artworks and I can't wait to see how awesome they turn out. 